I rise today to oppose Senate Bill 784 as written because no veteran benefit should be tied to submitting an income tax form no matter what. Michigan is currently one of four states that gives 100% disabled veterans property tax exemptions based on federal determination. The only oversight is we forgot to include spouses of veterans who were killed in action or in the line of duty. So I came up with that bill four years ago. My senator has it over in the Senate, but what appeared uh, in a matter of days out of nowhere were new bills tied to income tax papers. I guess what really confuses me is why are we changing this where a disabled veteran can walk in to their local unit of government and fill out an affidavit, show that they are 100% disabled and get their property tax exemption. Why are we changing this without having a committee on it, without inviting one veteran from every corner of our state to come down and have that conversation with us? And the really puzzling thing, my gosh, all of us that have worked on veterans' property tax exemption to get money back to our locals who have found solutions have been blocked by our local units of government, particularly the MML, who won't even have meetings with most of us, claiming that it is too much money. Well, now, what we have written and what we are voting on in this chamber goes from about $50 million dollars at a cost to our locals, to $200 million a year for the state. Yet, when we made the phone call, when we were in our chamber, right away the MML said, oh no, we support this. So I started to do a little research. And what I found was that in California, you can qualify if you're 100% disabled for property tax exemption on your house for the first $200,000. Not only that, but you also have to make sure that your income as a 100% disabled vet isn't more than $40,000 a year. And if any of you have spent the time to research how these determinations are, are determined at the federal level for if you are 100% disabled, it is absolutely lawful to be a 100% disabled vet and still be able to work. So what are we really doing here? Are we trying to pull a fast one and say, gosh, we finally got those veterans, those 100% disabled veterans taking advantage of the system, having a million dollar house, and now we're gonna say, but we're gonna do a good thing. We're gonna also make sure that we take care of our, our spouses of those veterans who have died. In fact, I learned a new phrase today from one of my colleagues. It's called performative hero worship, where we get up and when we wanna do something else, we find a group of people and we put them in there to make it look even better. Is that what we're doing today? Because I think we need to be honest. What is the intent of these bills and why can we not give our surviving spouses of those who have died in the line of duty what they deserve? 175 of them in the state of Michigan that currently are not included. Why cannot we give them their exemption without having it tied to an income tax form? Or if they don't want to do it, we're now going to have the local units of government be able to fill out this form for them. The whole reason that I came up with a surviving spouses bill was because I have one in my district who came to me 
and she came to me after she received the property tax exemption and then got it taken away from her. She never remarried. She raised two kids and she worked several part-time jobs to make ends meet, never asking for handouts. I'm not gonna call her and say, hey, look what we did in Lansing today. Just fill out this, uh, this income tax form. Oh, you don't want to? Your local unit of government, someone there that you don't know is gonna fill out your income tax form for you so they can claim the credit because it's all about money. It's not really about you. Let us never forget in this chamber that our veterans are people who wrote that blank check to the United States of America for an amount up to and including one's life. And as their surviving spouses, their check was cashed. And this is our solution for them to tie their benefit that they deserve, that we determined 10 years ago in the state of Michigan, our 100% disabled veterans don't have to jump through hoops to get this. We honor them and we are gonna give it to them. This is what we do now. Madam Speaker, this is shameful, but above all, this is cowardly. And I urge a no vote on this bill.